Welcome back to CJ Log, guys. Feels weird calling myself CJ. A lot of people started doing it since I called my business CJ Summers Dot Training. I just thought Christian is just a bit too long. I don't like being called Chris. But actual fact, no one calls me Chris, uh, CJ in like my normal life until I started doing this. Now everyone calls me CJ. But anyway, welcome back to CJ Log. So we're 16 weeks into my gaining phase. So I got it here from Instagram. I was sitting at so my average weight for this week is 190.9 pounds. And I'll just get up the comparison. The picture next to it, so the picture on the left, is me at 180.9 pounds. So 10 pounds lighter. And I was five weeks into my eight-week fat loss phase. I went pretty aggressive. The lowest my body weight went through that was like 176.5 or something. And then on the actual photo shoot day, I weighed that again. I weighed about 180.9. Um, so I ended up being a bit leaner than that on the left, you know, towards back end. And I filled up with some carbs. And obviously right now, I'm 190.9, 10 pounds up from that point. Um, so that would be 19 weeks in total between them pictures uh, and 16 weeks into my gaining phase. The last seven weeks I've been working with Christian Chapman, um, who's a G, really good guy. Um, and yeah, he's been keeping me accountable. You know, do does things slightly different to how I've done them in the past. So there's always something like good you can learn from getting coached off someone else. Um, namely the amount of fruit and veg I have. Three to four handfuls of veg per meal of like three to four different types of veg. So yeah, and I must admit recently, I'll like run out of veg and I'm like, oh fuck. So I need to get back on top of making sure I'm getting all that veg in. Um, and then also, yeah, plenty of like berries. I basically just told him what, similar to how I do things, Told him what foods are like, said pretty much like everything, and then he just made my like my food plans. Um, and what I'm doing at the minute is I'm on a training day macro split, which is like a meal plan. They're both meal plans. I don't the macro splits. I'll put I'll put it all here. I'll put the meal plan and the macros here. Um, the macros don't take in consideration like trace proteins from carb sources, trace fats from protein sources, things like that. This is just like proteins, fats and carbs from them, you know, direct protein sources, direct carb sources, direct fat sources. So take it with a pinch of salt, but that's my meal plan. Uh, that's training day. So foods, you know, carbs are super high. Um, fats are moderate to low, pretty low to be honest. And then protein is just like a normal level. But protein is probably like 50 grams higher than that because obviously there's protein in your carb sources and things. It's like 10 grams of protein in a fucking bagel. Uh, non-training days I'll bang that up so it's lower carbs higher fats obviously you don't need as much carbohydrate on them days um, essentially because it's less of a demand that's the idea um, and you just don't need as many calories that's the idea again um, which isn't something I've done for years I've just kind of stuck to the idea of okay my rest days are going to be like my fueling up days so I just keep food the same and then I just train like a heavier harder body part of the day after but I'm loving this and it makes sense Current training routine has been the same for the last seven weeks. So we're on push, pull, legs, rest, upper, lower, rest. And that's what we're, we're drilling in right now. Um, three to four work sets on every exercise, which is more than I've done before. Usually I was just doing like two and sometimes back end of my fat loss phase when the energy reserves were low, my ability to recover was low. I was doing like one work set on some of the bigger exercises just because I wanted to make sure I could recover. And I was on very, I was doing quite an aggressive fat loss. Um, but yeah, everything's going well. Joints feel so much fucking better. Um, I used to do a lot of like powerlifting style training, like for the last from 2017 to the back end, to like towards to fair to back end of last year, so back end of 2022. So like what almost five years, I was doing like powerlifting style training. Um, but I found that I just pick up quite a lot of like niggles. The only time I ever progressed is when I just didn't get like injured, and I always picked up some kind of injury like every six months or so. Um, so. It has been a nice change of pace to like pretty much everything feel fine all the time. So that's probably due to doing a lot of tempers and things like that in the workouts. Um, but yeah, it's going fucking sick. I don't want to bore you anymore. Post-workout meal's about to go in. I'm just training uppers. So I've got 185 grams of Cocoa Pops, fucking gains. 50 grams of whey. So it's it, the idea is it's 40 grams of whey from protein powder. That would mean I'd have to have like 60 grams of this perform stuff, but I did that and it fucked up my stomach because I was doing 50 grams, so slightly less, technically slightly off plan. Um, and then I've got a banana in here as well. I also forgot to have my frozen raspberries this morning because I was fucking rushing like a madman. So I've got some frozen raspberries in these Cocoa Pops as well. So a fuckload of carbs, decent amount of protein. This is going in post-workout, usually waiting like an hour to an hour and a half after I train to have this. The reason why 
is literally because when your heart rate's elevated and all the blood's in your muscles and you fucking G'd up, fight off flight mode straight after you train, it's not the best time to really be trying to digest food. So it makes sense for digestion purposes, which is obviously massive. It's the starting process of like actually using the food you're taking in for your muscles. And it makes sense to just wait a little bit until you relax, your breathing's down and you chill. So that's why I'm about to eat this bad boy now. Last thing, we're on one off plan meal a week. Last week I had a Aldi pizza and some homemade chippies. Tomorrow I've got some friends around. I'm actually gonna have a drink, I think, which isn't something I usually do. I usually do not give a fuck about it. And I might even change my mind and not have one. It is what it is. Um, but I do fancy, for some reason, I just like the idea of me fucking on BBQ, couple steakies and a couple Stellas. So we'll see, a couple wife beaters, but no wife beating. Right guys, that's it, that's the update. You got any questions, give me a shout. But if not, I hope you're having a fucking fantastic week and I hope you're smoking your physique goals. Take care.